Peace, come with me. I handed him Bogart and he had hearts in his eyes. It was just such a magical moment. I'll never forget it. I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe they had such similar clefts and he was so little. It was just adorable. So when he was just about four, I told my husband, you know what, I think we should start fostering again and just get some babies in the house and have something to look forward to, something besides just doctor's appointment. Do you have to have sugars and to fed with like special medicines like me? Bogart started to get a little bit older. He just had this enormous personality. Riding our Roomba. And he's pretty silly, huh? Running with the big dog like he was a big dog. I mean, he was just so fun. He was bouncing through the house. He and Bogart started calling each other, boogie, boogie. And then it just turned into this little noise, this rattle that he makes, and Bogey knows that sound, and he takes off like a bullet. Okay. There he goes. What a good boy. Okay. Yeah, I can call Bogey now, and he'll come, but when Landon calls Bogey, he takes off. Oh. Inseparable. They're always together. If they're not both running around playing somewhere, they're both sitting together or sleeping together or just hanging out. Did you give them a bath today? Yes. Yeah. And then did you snuggle them and dry them? When we have other fosters, just it's so precious. Landon wants to come right in and hold them. And right next to Landon holding one of the fosters is Bogey right next to his side wanting to sniff the foster. You showing him to Bogey? Yeah. Waiting. I feel so grateful to Bogart that he can help Landon get through these things even more than we can. I honestly feel like Bogart is a little doggy angel. He came into Landon's life right when we needed him the most, and, and he's been with him ever since.